road ahead. My Lord God, I have no idea where I am going. I do not see the road ahead of me. I cannot know for certain where it will end, nor do I really know myself. And the fact that I think I am following your will does not mean that I am actually doing so. But I, le but I believe the desire to please you does in fact please you. And I hope I have that desire in all that I am doing. I hope that I will never do anything apart from that desire. And I know that if I do this, you will lead me to, you will lead me by the right road, though I may know nothing about it. Therefore, I will trust you always, though I may seem to be lost and in the shadow of death. I will not fear for you, or I will not fear for you are ever with me, and you will never leave me to face my perils alone. Good evening, and welcome to our graduation mass. Over the past nine years, we as students have faced many challenges and have learned to work together to overcome them. Tonight, we celebrate our many successes and achievements. We present our hopes and plans for the future, as well as our joys to the Lord. We thank God for all the blessings we have received and ask him to grant us the courage to continue our mission of being witnesses to our faith. Please join us in singing of our opening hymn, number nine, number 590 in the Gather Hymnal, Christ Be Our Light, number 590. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, as we gather tonight to celebrate this Mass, we come in to church as we came in to the school year, praising Christ, Christ as our light. 
He is the light that dispels our darkness and that helps us to see where we have been and where we are going. So we turn to him, asking him to enlighten our path as we march forward together by acknowledging our sins and so preparing ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, from what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, so Lord our God, May Almighty God of mercy, forgive us our sins and bring us to last in life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Graciously grant to your church, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart and united in purity of intent. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from, from the Acts of Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock, of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward, perverting the truth, to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonish each of you with tears. And now I command you to God and to that gracious word of his that can build you up and give you that inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way I have shown you that by hard work of that sort we must help the weak. And keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus who himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him. For they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, I speak this in the world, so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your wor word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask you to take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them, so that they may also be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. made it. Good job. <laughs> we are so proud of you, eighth grade, for making it to this milestone in your life as you transition from our school to that next step and stage in your life. And hopefully, like I said, our theme for this year, Christ is our light, has really helped you to see where you are going and who enlightens everything along the way. We taught you many, many things, and being in the classroom with you, I know you excelled very well. You're so bright. You've achieved so much. But I want us to turn to Scripture with that thought, that thought about how much we have achieved, but what it really does mean in the end. St. Paul, that we heard about in our first reading today, was the top of his class. He was the best of Pharisees. He learned everything in the scriptures. He knew it all when it really came down to it. But he was lacking one thing. Do you know what he was lacking? He was lacking an encounter with Jesus Christ. He was lacking a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. He was lacking the light of Christ that brought to truth everything that he had learned. And that changed everything for Paul. His whole outlook on life and where he was heading, what he was doing, it changed everything when he personally encountered Jesus on the road to Damascus. And he was on a kind of a path of destruction. But the Lord changed everything for him. He saw the whole world in a new way. He realized what was really important and what really mattered and what didn't. He started to see things the way God sees them. It's easy to live life and to forget about this truth, that everything that we can gain, all the knowledge, all the experiences, they fall short if Christ doesn't shed light on them. If you don't have a real relationship with Jesus, that helps you to understand what all of this means. Because you can go on this path of destruction. And human history has shown us that. Many people, very learned, much smarter than you and me, who thought 
because they learned all these things, they could do whatever they wanted. And it led to destruction in the world. But that's why in your education and formation here at St. Malachi, it's not just about learning things and getting knowledge. It's about encountering and developing a relationship with God who helps you to know how to use all this good knowledge that you have taken away, that you're going to put into practice in the years to come, that's going to take you on a great adventure. And my friends, when Paul said yes to Jesus in his life, when he accepted him into his life and let him determine everything that he knew in a new direction, he went on a great journey, a great adventure. And I've told you over the years, God has an amazing plan for your life. We call this a vocation, a calling. And he is going to do something amazing, but only in so far as you let him in and you say yes to him. You say, Lord, you have given me everything. You have given me all the abilities, all the smarts, all the things that are present in my life. How do you want me to use them? That's the best question you can ask. Lord, everything I've received, how do you want me to use them to serve you, to build up the world, my family, to serve others? This is the outlook that we hoped you've come to understand and to realize that all of this that is being passed to you is gift, gift from God, because he loves you greatly. And that's why he's called you to this amazing adventure, this great journey of faith. And just like St. Paul, there'll be trials and tribulations and hardships, but that doesn't matter. We can overcome them because we cling to the one who makes sense of everything in our lives. So keep clinging to Jesus. Hold on to your faith. Let it truly be a light that enlightens everything that you have learned and experienced and that you will learn and experience from this day going forward into your high school career and beyond because God has an amazing plan for your life just like he did with St. Paul you're going to do great things in so far as you say yes to him and keep your eyes fixed up on heaven and say Lord what do you want me to do with all that you have given to me Let us stand together and bring to our Heavenly Father these needs and prayers of petition. our families, friends, teachers, and priests at St. Malachi Parish School who have supported us in our academic, social, and spiritual growth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who will help us as we continue our education, may they help us to know your strength and grow in the wisdom that only you can provide. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the families and friends of those people we have lost into your care who suffer with illness, 
Be with them, Lord, and bring comfort to their sorrow. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of our church and our world, may those who guide us work fervently and joyously to build and nurture a community committed to the gospel values of love, justice, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the graduating eighth graders of St. Malachi Parish School, that their lives would be full of blessings and that they would live just, justly, love tenderly, and walk humbly with our God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious Father, continue to pour forth your blessings upon us. Grant our needs and prayers, for we make them all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join us in singing our hymn for the preparation of the gifts, number 691 in your gathered books, on eagle's wings, number 691. Brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father, to the Lord. Accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise of the Lord. For our good of all the soldiers. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate as our dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lordly Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us shares in his divinity. 
therefore overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bit of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and charles our bishop and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At 
Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace and leave you. My peace I give you, but not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of God, the old hymn, takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
seated for a moment. I'd like to invite the eighth grade to please stand. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. Heavenly Father, pour out your fountain of wisdom and spirit into the minds and hearts of these young people. Renew them and strengthen them for the road and journey that lies ahead of them. May they take with them and carry close to heart the encounters and experiences of your love that they have gained here in this place. Renew them always and call them your children that they may receive all the grace and blessing they need. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Show them a sign of our love and support. <laughs> Shall we all stand together? Let us pray. May our partaking of this divine sacramental Lord constantly increase your grace within us, and by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our closing hymn this morning is number 598 in your gathered book, O God Beyond All Praising, number 598. <laughs>
Good evening and welcome to our eighth grade graduation celebration for the class of 2023. My name is Sandra Kennison, principal of St. Malachi Catholic School, and it has been an honor to know these graduates for nine years. This was the first kindergarten class at the new school, and they are the first class to go all the way through. And they are the last class to have me as their PE teacher. Events like this graduation usually remind us of memories and hopes for the future. Some will remember their favorite teacher, the friendships over the years, first communion, casual days, and the morning announcements that start with, today we will be learning, loving, and living with Christ. Maybe you remember the Shamrock Way, the middle school retreats, going to the soup kitchen, or getting a big R. Do you remember praying and marching at Planned Parenthood and Indiana Right to Life? Or do you remember playing Screaming Bingo, Field Day, Burying the Alleluia, After School Art Lessons, The Vocation Cross, or even when band started? Who can forget ASAP, all the city championships, and one to still be played on June 1st at Bishop Chatard, 5.30. And of course, country fair and who you'll ride on the Ferris wheel with, the green and white gala, pennies for pigs, and of course, COVID shutdown and quarantines. Parents and teachers, maybe you remember late assignments, also known as getting a pink slip, the living rosary, students trying to figure out their locker combination in sixth grade, or even yesterday, attending NJHS induction, or maybe you remember the school song being sung as loudly as possible in your classroom. Eighth graders, I'm sure you remember house activities, Mary's Way of the Cross, Mass Buddies, Lunch In, May Crowning, and maybe even the class trip. Even though memories can make you smile or cry, the best thing about memories is that the teachers parents, staff, Father Danda, Father Clausen, and I were part of your memories and your lives during the time you were here at St. Malachi. Today is not the end of memories, but the beginning of new ones. Today is the day that we, the staff at St. Malachi, say, see you later. No matter where you go to high school, please be confident in who you are because you are a wonderful creation made in the image and likeness of God, and you will always be a shamrock and part of our family. So take your memories, lessons learned, knowledge, skills, gifts, and talents to follow God's plan for you and make the world a better place in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I'd like to start the celebration by recognizing our honor roll and high honor roll students. Students earn honor roll with A's and B's in all classes and earn high honor roll with all A's in all classes. Please stand when I call your name and I ask that we hold all applause until I've called all names. Florence Akakapo, high honor roll fourth quarter, all year and all of middle school. Oscar Bard, high honor roll fourth quarter and all year honor roll, all of middle school. Simone Dexamo, high honor roll, fourth quarter, all year, and all of middle school. Avery Damagalic, honor roll, fourth quarter. Michaela Dotsi, honor roll, fourth quarter, all year, and all of middle school. Eileen Ellis, honor roll, fourth quarter, all year, and all of middle school. Cam Gehring, honor roll, fourth quarter. Luke Fields, honor roll, fourth quarter. Hannah, I'm sorry, pardon me. Bella Canise, honor roll, fourth quarter. Hannah Manley, honor roll, fourth quarter, all year and all of middle school. Lily Manley, 
high honor roll fourth quarter and honor roll all year. Thomas Manley, honor roll fourth quarter and all year. Nathan Prevost, high honor roll fourth quarter and all year. Gwyneth Pritchard, honor roll fourth quarter all year and all of middle school. Mirth Ramsey, honor roll fourth quarter. Todd Reynolds, honor roll fourth quarter all year and all of middle school. Maya Ricker, high honor roll fourth quarter all year and all of middle school. Ryan Seward, honor roll fourth quarter. Noah Stornetta, honor roll fourth quarter all year and all of middle school. Max Townsend, high honor roll fourth quarter all year and all of middle school. Elijah Wright, honor roll fourth quarter all year and all of middle school. Congratulations, good job. You may be seated. Zero heroes are students who have zero infractions, zero late assignments, zero tardy slips, and zero unprepared for class slips. Please stand when I call your name to be recognized as a zero hero for the year. Zero hero all year, Oscar Bard, Annabelle Manley, Lily Manley, Todd Reynolds, Noah Stornetta, and Max Townsend. Zero hero all three years of middle school, Simone Dexamo. Very nice job, you may have a seat. Oh, memories. How many of you remember what shamrock slips are? You've forgotten already? No hands up. The easiest way to describe what a shamrock slip is to think of them as an old sporting event ticket or a concert ticket that had a stub that was torn off by the ticket taker. Well, shamrock slips look like that, but they're actually like money to use in the shamrock store. I'd like to recognize the top five students who earned the most shamrock slips during their three years in middle school. Please stand when I call your name and hold your applause until all names have been called. Gwyneth Pritchard, 268 shamrock slips. Florence Akakapo, 241 shamrock slips. Michaela Dotsey, 239 shamrock slips. Oscar Bard, 233 shamrock slips. Simone Dexamo, 230 sl sl shamrock slips. <laughs> and all of that equals a whole bunch of candy, chips, and soda. Congratulations, you may have a seat. <laughs> The Presidential Volunteer Service Awards are presented to students who excel in the area of community service. We're very proud of our students that are not only committed to serving the community, but also serving others, the parish, and the school. Bronze level recipients have a minimum of 50 service hours. What will the following students receiving the bronze level please come forward when I call your name? Lauren Fernandez, Gwyneth Pritchard, Maya Ricker, and Ryan Seward.
The silver level recipients have a minimum of 75 service hours. Will the following students receiving the silver level please come forward? Avery Tamagalic. Gold level recipients have a minimum of 100 service hours. Will the following students receiving the gold level please come forward? Florence Akakapo, Simone Dexamo, Michaela Dotsi, Samantha Kiefer, Annabelle Manley, Hannah Manley, Lily Manley, and Thomas Manley. The Presidential Education Award is presented to students who received a pass plus or above proficiency on their previous year's iLearn in both math and language arts, and they have also maintained a 90% average in each of their classes during the school year. Will this year's recipients please stand as I call your name? Adam Abdullahi, Florence Akakapo, Oscar Bard, Simone Dexamo, Cam Gehring, Nathan Prevost, Maya Ricker, Noah Stornetta, and Elijah Wright. Congratulations, great job. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to invite Father Danda to present the Server and Sacristan Awards. This is the first year we'll recognize eighth graders who served as sacristans at school masses. Please come forward as I call your name and hold your applause, please. Avery Domagalic, Eileen Ellis, Lauren Fernandez, Samantha Kiefer, Bella Canise, Gwyneth Pritchard, and Maya Ricker. The Sarah Club of Indianapolis has provided certificates to graduating eighth graders who were altar servers at masses and parishes in the Archdiocese of Indianapolis. We'd like to recognize our eighth grade servers, Jackson Reynolds, Noah Stornetta, and Elijah Wright. Elijah Wright received a special award um, for performing exceptionally as an altar server in the past year. So congratulations, Elijah Wright, for your extraordinary service. <laughs> Our
Our first scholarship tonight is the House Scholarship. This scholarship is available to any eighth grade student at St. Malachy who exemplifies the shamrock spirit of academic excellence, taking advantage of service opportunities, being a positive role model, and an ambassador for our school. The one-time gift of $400 can be earned by a student attending any high school. The winner of this scholarship is a well-rounded student who has a positive attitude, enjoys serving others, tries to be the best version of themselves, and encourages others to succeed. In their words, no matter how difficult something may seem, stay faithful. We're pleased to announce the winner of the Shamrock House Scholarship is Florence Okakapo. Please come forward. I'd like to invite Mrs. Hernandez to present the next scholarship. My name is Missy Hernandez. I'm a teacher here at St. Malachi, along with the sponsor of the National Junior Honor Society, our Shamrock chapter. And this year, um, the National Junior Honor Society at the national level sent out an email to all sponsors for a scholarship for National Junior Honor Society students. So I forwarded it to all of our students who are in National Junior Honor Society, inviting them to apply. And I looked at the application and let me say that it rivaled a college scholarship application. So we had four students at our school who applied for it and I'm very proud of all of them because it was intense, so the things that they had to fill out and collect and submit for this uh, scholarship. And we received an email about three weeks ago that we had one of our students receive a scholarship from the national chapter of, this, of the National Junior Honor Society. So. We're proud to announce that Michaela Dotsey has been selected as the National Junior Honor Society Outstanding Achievement recipient. Michaela will receive a $500 scholarship in a 529 college savings account to be applied to her higher education. Recipients are chosen based on their demonstrated work to support the five pillars of NJHS, scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. Please join us in congratulating Michaela on this great accomplishment. I'd like to invite Mr. Larry Hart to join me for the next presentation. Mr. Larry Hart was a math teacher at St. Malachy for 38, four, okay, a little over 40. <laughs> so some of, some of you alumni, I'll remember that number, Mr. Math Teacher. <laughs> I have just a few words that I'd like to st say to the graduates this year. Most of you don't know me at all, but I was a math teacher here at St. Malachy for a little over 40 years. A long time ago, a real wise person told me that I would always remember the name of my eighth grade 
football coach long after I'd forgotten the name of my eighth grade teacher. Well, my eighth grade teacher was Sister Anna Melda. My seventh grade teacher was Sister Catherine Rose. My sixth grade teacher was Sister Pierre. But my favorite teacher was Sister Mary Canisius. Now, my football coach was Mr. Leroy Silcox. Now, I had a lot more fun, I think, with football than I had with school. But after several years, I realized the real importance of that Catholic education that I had gotten all through grade school, high school, and college. Now, I have three grandchildren. All of them went through St. Malachi. Now, my oldest thought he was more of an athlete than a student. Well, his favorite teacher was Miss McFarland. Now, the reason for that is he always enjoyed the variety of games that she came up with during gym class, so it was never monotonous for him. And a little bit be known to Miss McFarland, occasionally some of those errant throws during dodgeball that whizzed by you, they weren't really errant, you know. She, he just wanted to see if you were on your toes. Now, my granddaughter, her favorite teacher here at St. Malachi was a math teacher. I wonder why, but it was Mrs. Haney. Now, I kid her all the time because I say that in the last 50 years, she was the second best math teacher here at St. Malachi. Now, she knows I'm just kidding about that. But my granddaughter always remembers that notebook that she encouraged them to keep in school. Now, she kept that notebook. She still has that notebook. She used it her freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year of high school. So, you know, there was some good thing about that notebook. Now, my youngest grandson, he was, or I don't want to embarrass him, but he was a little bit of a nerd, and that's all right. Don't get me wrong. And he had three favorite teachers here at St. Malachi. He just couldn't decide who they were. The first one, of course, was a math teacher again. I just don't understand that, but it, I guess it's hereditary or something. I'm not sure. The second one was Mrs. Carson. Now, for a boy to turn around and say one of their favorite teachers was a religion teacher? You've got to be kidding me. But he really enjoyed the religion classes. And his third co-favorite teacher was Miss Swihart. Now, the reason he really enjoyed Miss Swihart is because he really enjoyed the projects that he did during the art class. And I brought with me tonight a picture that he made during his art class. And this is my favorite picture for some reason. Most of you probably cannot see it, but it is a leprechaun, and it was made by my grandson, Jake, and it was to Grandpa, so I really enjoyed that. Now, my favorite teacher here at St. Malachi will probably surprise most of you, but it was Beth Nell. Now, the reason for that is my oldest daughter was kind of skirmish about going to school. And I think that she would not have made it out of first grade if Beth had not allowed her to come down and see me in my classroom on occasion. I mean, it, it was a struggle sometimes. Now, I had up here on the altar earlier, there were two of my favorite students. Now, you've got to realize all my students are favorite. But two of them, one of them was Father Danda. Now, 
Father Danda was a member of what I called the Four Amigos. Now, Father Danda was super intelligent, if you didn't already know that, and he kept me on my feet during algebra class all the time. Now, he ha had four members of that, and of course, Father Danda was the first one. And there was another student, Matt Seidel, a third student that was Josh Sullivan. Now, I'm going to see if Father Danda paid any attention. And who was the fourth member? Jonathan Anderson, A plus, good job. I'm glad to hear that. Now, another one that was up here was Deacon Anthony Armbruster. Now, I always referred to Anthony as a gentle giant. And I don't know why I came up with that, but if you know him, you might get the idea. Now, he was one of the politest students that I ever had in class. He actually wrote me a note after eighth grade graduation thanking me for being his teacher. Now, his mom probably made him do it, but I prefer to think that he did it on his own. Now, I always had little nicknames for some of my students, and I'm going to see if Anthony can tell me my nickname for him, if he remembers. Oh, come on. I'll give, I'll give you a clue. It has to do with math, and it has to do with A. A squared, Anthony Armbruster. All right. Now, the moral of this whole story is very simple. As graduates, you need to thank your grandparents, your parents, the teachers here at St. Malachi, the staff here at St. Malachi, and the priest for this great, wonderful gift they've given you of Catholic education. Thank you. The Heart Scholarship is a one-time $300 scholarship awarded to an, an eighth grader who demonstrates a sense of caring for classmates, always has a positive attitude, and encourages others to be their best. They are the first to support anyone in need and set an example for others to follow. In short, they are someone who shows a lot of heart. This year's recipient is Simone Dexamo. Thank you, Mr. Hart. Now, eighth graders, you are becoming alumni, and you've probably realized that you are part of a long history of students that attended St. Malachi. And the next gentleman that I'm going to invite up here, his girls were alumni as well. So I'd like to invite Mike Waters to present the Knights of Columbus Scholarship. Thank you, Mrs. Kennison. It's kind of like following Elvis after you follow Mr. Hart, I tell you. Um, as Mrs. Kennison said, my name is Mike Waters, and I'm here to represent the uh, Knights of Columbus at um, St. Malachi Parish. Uh, a long time ago, we started this uh, council in 1999, and in 2003, we kind of had a crazy idea to maybe do a trivia contest and raise some money for scholarships to award our deserving students. With the success of that event, we, uh, we uh, 
give away close to $15,000 this year to students who either graduated high school from St. Malachy or to our eighth graders. Now, the qualifications for the eighth grade scholarship is you must be attending a private or parochial school next year. And we task the uh, administration here, Ms. Kinnison and all her teachers, to find somebody that embodies the spirits and best qualities of our organization. And it's a one-time $1,000 gift, and I have two of them I would like to award tonight. The first person that I would like to give this $1,000 scholarship for is Miss Samantha Kiefer. So our next recipient um, is a, a, a fine young man, and, I, and I'm pretty excited to give it to this uh, young man. I've known his parents through the trivia night and many, many other areas around the parish. I would like to award this next $1,000 to Mr. Max Townsend. Congratulations, graduates, and congratulations to Mrs. Feeney. At this time, I'd like to invite from Cardinal Ritter, Principal Carrie Yost. Congratulations, graduates. Exciting night, right? And no more school. You're done. Yay, right? Ready for summer. Well, it sounds like you guys had an amazing year and, and quite, um, quite a wonderful one full of honors. Remember, as you step forward from this school, you have been blessed with great teachers who have instilled values in you that you need to keep close to you. Be kind to others as you step out into the world in your freshman year at high school. I wish you all the best. This time, I would like to recognize our future Cardinal Ritter Raider, Robert Mache. Sorry, Robert Mache. Come on up. Finally, I would like to call Mary Feeney and Paula Owen to the altar for a special presentation. At each graduation, we like to recognize our families that their youngest child is graduating from St. Malachy. Would the following eighth graders and their parents come forward when your family name is called and remain at the bottom of the steps until all names are called? Adam Abdullai.
Emma Coleman. Avery Damagalic. Michaela Dotsie. Eli Katsaris. The Manleys. <laughs> Robbie Mache. Eli Myers. Nathan Prevost. Keegan Wilson. Parents and students, thank you for choosing St. Malachi as your Catholic school for your children to grow up in. And I hope this is a good memory. Remember, memories make you smile and sometimes bring tears. But I'll smile as I say, see you later. Thank you. On behalf of the staff of St. Malachi, we honor you with a gift for choosing St. Malachi and sharing your children with us. You are honored because this was your last child to graduate from St. Malachi, and you'll always be a shamrock, and we hope you have memories that last a lifetime. I'd like to now have Mrs. Haney, Mr. Weil, and Father Danda to come forward for the presentation of diplomas. Adam Abdullah. Florence Akapo. Oscar Bard. Austin Braun. Emma Coleman. Josh Dalton. Simone Dexamo. Avery Domagalic.
Michaela Dotsey. Eileen Ellis. Lauren Fernandez. Luke Fields. Pam Gehring. Sophia Griffin. Elias Katseros. Samantha Kiefer. Isabella Canise. Annabelle Manley. Hannah Manley. Lily Manley. Matthew Manley. Thomas Manley. Robbie Mache. Elijah Myers. Nathan Prevost. Gwyneth Pritchard. Mirth Ramsey. Jackson Reynolds. Todd Reynolds. Maya Ricker. Ryan Seward.
Noah Stornetta. Max Townsend. Keegan Wilson. Elijah Bright. If all of you will stand up. I now present to you the class of 2023. Let's do a final prayer, and then please feel free to take as many pictures as you would like. Mrs. Kennison and I will be in the front, too, for any. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of our faith and of your love in our lives. Continue to bless these young people and keep them safe on their journey to, with you. We ask this all through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.